my body is the temple of god do not have pure intentions now i do not care an easy journey that one can walk i am a woman of of prayer hello guys so today i want us to talk about navigating dating while you are still a virgin or pure or being a virgin in your 20s so i'm just gonna talk about that and also share my experiences i hope that you enjoy this video because i never thought i would do a video like this i'm most probably gonna delete this video so yeah here goes nothing so i've always known okay let me just start by describing myself so i am someone that is not easily influenced by people by trends that are happening on social media i live my life the way that i want to live it and if it makes sense to me then it's okay and i am someone that is not easily influenced by friends um family members whoever i'm just not easily influenced and i know that i am very very stubborn in nature i pride myself in that because it helps me most of the time so i knew that i was gonna be pure up until this stage up until i get to my 20s simply because i am a firm believer in that my body is the temple of god i am not a christian but i do believe in that um, it just aligns with the person that I am. It aligns with my values. I don't even know if that's that's a verse or I don't know. Sorry, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna check it up. But I it just aligns with my values and what I believe in. So I do not want to have people who are touchy touching me or my body. I just do not like that for myself and I'm not judging anyone. If you do your things, you do your things, my love, and that is okay. If it's okay with you, it's okay. So I just, I, I believe in that. I believe that my body should be touched by one person. And I'm not one of those people who say that I am saving myself for marriage. I do not believe in that i am serving myself for myself firstly i am doing this for myself to protect myself from a lot of things that are happening that we just see every day so that we all know so i just do not want to bring more problems in my life secondly if marriage comes it comes it's a blessing thank you you know and if it does not come it does not come because i have seen that a lot of people especially where i come from i come from i'm from kzn a lot of girls that are still virgins up until they are old they would force you know they would enter marriage with like old people and it, it's it's just not my vibe i wouldn't do that to myself if i'm not if i am not blessed with umshadu then it's okay you know no need to force and also i want to understand intimacy um learning more about that before i do anything that's that wants me to be sexually involved with the other person um to be vulnerable with another person to that extent it's something that is so deep and personal to me so i still want to understand more about that and also to to fully understand myself my feelings and to just have more information about um about it because as much as i learned about it in my teen, in high school in primary it was it primary okay i don't remember but in school i still need to learn more about it and fully understand it before i do anything so yeah and i know that it's not easy to be a virgin up until this stage because you want 
a partner you want someone that is going to be your side and most people especially in this generation they are not for that they and do not have pure intentions they are not willing to wait for you up until you figure everything out they will just yeah they want what they want and if you do not give them then you are you are out you are left single and it's something that has happened to me a lot a lot in my past relationships and now i do not care when i was still um in my late teenage years i, I used to care a lot but now i'm just like okay you know because i know myself um i know my why i know why i am doing this and part of my reason is because i'm doing it for myself i do not want to do something just because someone wants me to do it so it can never work like that and i'm a firm believer in that everything has its own time everything goes smoothly when it happens in its own time and that we should wait for that time so i'm waiting for myself to to fully understand everything um behind um intimacy and all of that so that um when i decide to do it i fully and i know everything so it's not easy um it's not an easy journey that one can walk but i believe that it's a journey that is going to be rewarding um especially because i am a woman of of prayer so i know that it's a journey that is going to be rewarding um and it won't necessarily necessarily be rewarding in in maybe marriage yeah you know, and in terms of marriage maybe something else you know that i did not even think for myself i did not even even imagine for myself so it won't necessarily be marriage and if it, if it is marriage then i'm i'm okay with it so i didn't plan this video i'm just venting and just talking about myself which is something that i've never done before <laughs> maybe i'm not gonna post this video i don't know how you guys are gonna receive this video and my phone doesn't have space now so i'm just gonna go to sleep i hope you enjoyed watching and maybe if there's part two i will share more about that